All right, as I said before, the reason I want to tape uh, mark all these places on my effect unit for my delays is because I want it to be in synchronization with the rest of the music and it needs to be synchronized so the rhythm doesn't mess up and mess up the people on the dance floor. Uh, the idea is that anytime I turn to one of these markers, it should be accurate enough that I'm making a rhythm that's going to be in time, whether it's 4-4, four, 3-4, four, four, Two, four, or eight, four. Regardless of those numbers, I'm going to be able to hit the right amount of delay for the effect that I'm going for. Also, the reason we use light tape is so we can see these in the dark. And if we need to see this in the nightclub, it'll be easier pointed out where we want to turn this knob to. Of course, in a nightclub situation, you might not be able to hear very accurately. So at least you know because you've already made these markers out and like I said these markers are for 150 beats a minute or 75 beats a minute. For that tempo these markers are great. Any other tempo these markers will not work and therefore making markers if you need to change your tempo all the time is kind of a wasted exercise. But if you're like me and at the moment I'm doing a big mix, a long mix and all of it is at 150 beats a minute what I can do is set up my equipment so each machine works at that tempo. So let's try that again. I'll turn up the music without any effects. This is only a rhythm. Okay, very very short ratio which means you can't hear an effect yet. But as I turn this up you'll hear an effect on the first marker. Should be on time. Okay, next marker. These are very close to each other. But as you can see, as the ratio gets further away, the synchronizations are further apart. Of course, you need to tweak it a little as you're listening. Make sure you get the right tempo. And... It's a fat beat. You can play with the rhythm such as this. All right, and the much, much slower rhythm. But as you can hear, the tempo is correct. So as I'm doing my mixes, I can just turn the dial, hit the marker, and I'm hitting the right tempo for 150 beats a minute. Back here, another nice echo. This is it without the effect. With the effect. It fills out the rhythm section and the echo gives the rhythm a bit more drive. I'll turn it down. That's a real 1-1 one -one sitting on itself. That's what I would call a standing rhythm. Without the effect. With the effect. It's almost got a marching feel to it. Okay, closer down the ratio. All right, somewhere around here. It's a simple doubling up. Okay, and this bottom one.
that's a real slap delay without with the delay see as it gets smaller it becomes more metallic and then the tempo is not that important when the delay is that short but the tempo is important when it comes to the rhythm as you can hear it adds a lot of swing a lot of groove without the delay with the delay really rolls over quite nicely and the last one just to give you an idea how easy this is to do at home without the delay see even if I'm not listening to it I'll show you what it's like to just use the marker set it to the marker and just assume that you did it properly the first time if you didn't do it properly you can always go back and just change the marker as these are only sticky tape you can change these anytime you like if you permanently mark your devices, uh, it's not going to help you if you change tempo. Alright, with the effect. It's pretty fat. Alright, just go down the line. Okay, next. That's a three quarter beat, lots of fun. It adds a sense of urgency to the rhythm. All right, then a slap. Well, maybe it's a one beat, one four. As I said, smaller than that, it's only slapping. So it doesn't matter what your tempo is. The Nano Verb isn't just a delay unit, although I'm using it as a delay unit in this tutorial. Uh, you can have a listen to some of its other effects. Assume that these markers will still be the correct markers for all the other effects. Setting it up with a delay is the easiest. And then try the other effects. Flange. Let's go to one of our favorite tempos. All right, really slow. That fattens the beat up quite a lot flange short flange nice and tight there's the beat alone and you can see the flange itself it still works at the same tempo markers no matter what effect we choose once we put our tempo markers in we can change effects and all the effects will still be in the right regions non-linear means it kind of goes everywhere it sounds like a backwards reverb. I love this one. It sounds like breathing. Without the effect. Alright, so this is a non-linear effect at our nice fat marker here. The widest possible marker before it gets out of control. Let's l listen to that again. really brightens it up too brings a lot more treble into the sound all right let's hear the others it's got a noise gate function yep 
Yeah, it sounds like it's being gated quite hard. Yeah, that's quite tight. And... Alright, almost nothing there. Alright. Plates are just different types of reverbs. Let's hear the big plates, just for fun. That's plate three. Plate two. As you can imagine, each plate gets larger. So the smallest plate, plate one, is a nice plate for reverb uh, on vocals. Very nice, clean, shiny reverb. Let's deck the halls. Halls number one. Two, the hall gets larger, as you can imagine. The biggest hall of all, hall number three. Rooms. This is probably much better for vocals uh, and even guitars. Room two is a slightly larger room. And room three is the largest room. Of course, you can change the ratio here. Let's make that room large. It's a pretty decent effect. I mean, a big fat room like this, they make a really nice big drum beat. That's what it sounds like without the room number three. But even with room number one, if we use the large effect, the room will sound nice and warm. Whoa. Yeah, huge. 